Okay, today's video, I am going to explain some of the stuff, where I get some of these parts, and we're gonna clean up some stuff. So, I got a center console for our Hellcat swapped RAM project. Um, I got this off of LKQ, as you can see here. So, it came in this wrapper. It actually came in this sketchy looking box here, and I thought it was gonna be damaged. But then when I took it out, half of it was missing. So um, this is kind of the ins and outs of ordering parts and trying to you know, continue content with you guys and uh, keep a steady stream of content going. So this is the condition it showed up. Uh, today we're gonna clean it up and I'm gonna show you guys some of the cleanup that goes on behind the scenes on some of these parts. And so you can see here, it looks pretty nasty. I had to spend a bunch of time on the phone with them because they, for some reason, like these things come, are supposed to come completely equipped. So it's supposed to come with the top piece and there's two panels right here. So one here and on the other side, and it's supposed to come with all of that, but uh, somebody decided they were gonna remove it before they shipped it to me. So I had to spend some time with them on the phone. Um, they said now that they're going to ship me these pieces that they've for some reason removed. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at at this point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out back, uh, bring it to the shop, I'm gonna clean it, show you guys kind of the before and after because it is absolutely filthy as you can probably see. It's pretty nasty looking but it looks to be in good shape so we get a better uh, view on it as we clean it up. And I got some other parts I wanna show you as well that I've already been working on behind the scenes uh, for more of our interior parts and uh, let's get started. So let me carry this back and then we'll continue. Okay, so I'm gonna start taking some stuff out. So we got the rubber tray out coin holder. There's actually a penny stuck in the back here that's making me crazy. I'm going to see if I can or can't get it out. Because I'm trying to move it right here. Money rattling around. So, I'm hoping I can get it out without disassembling it, but find out, I guess. So, it doesn't really bother me because I know I can clean it up, but this thing is disgusting, you guys. Like, look at that. There's even like some nasty stuff growing up in here. So, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out these Torx screws here and remove the lid. I'm hoping I can get whatever's jingling in there out because I know it's gonna drive me crazy later. Uh, might as well do it now. And I'm also going to take off these side panels here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove these seven mils. I might as well take off the side panel because there's some nasty crud in there and uh, given what I'm seeing up here, I want to get everything as clean as possible. Like, I don't know what is like growing in here, but definitely going to put a stop to that. Okay, so I'm going to take out the Torx in here because I think the change is all trapped up in here. So I'm going to take this part out. Okay, I knew I wasn't crazy. Look at all the pennies jammed up in here. So I said I could hear a boatload of change up in here. <laughs> There's, I don't even know how you get change in there, but somehow there is a ton of pennies stuck in here. I almost feel like this is like that stupid meme that's going around on social media. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle. For sure. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle. For sure. It makes me want to dribble dribble. You know. Only way I can see maybe money getting in there is maybe like some kid was like coin slotting in the back of the unit here, but I don't know. There's also a nickel over here, it looks like. Anyways, that would have made a racket probably, so I'm glad we at least figured that out. The other thing too is at some point we're going to be taking this out because I might be doing some car play stuff, so uh, we shall see, but um, there you go. There's the two connections on the back of this unit. But I also have a USB hub for some CarPlay stuff, so we'll be getting into that later probably. All right, so just to be on the safe side, um, the rest of it's just wiring in this thing back here, but that media hub looks a little bit vulnerable to get wet, so um, that should be fine. Anyways, the wiring will have plenty of time to dry out. This isn't a whole lot dirty, so I'm gonna place this off to the side. Let's get to scrubbing. So if you guys are curious for what I use to wash everything with, I use this a ton. I go through a ton of this stuff. So I'm gonna, of course, hose it off. Uh, we'll give it a preliminary kind of rinse and then I'm gonna take off these two side panels as well. So here we go. We're gonna do a preliminary hose down. Most of the stuff looks like it's just falling off, which is good. 
You guys saw the before and after. Well, not the after yet, but the before. I think it's seriously dirty. As far as that vent in the middle, I could probably remove that vent because obviously we don't have a back seat. But this is from a four-door model. Okay, so this back panel is just held on by speed clips. So we might as well pop this guy off, see if there's any nastiness hiding back here. Well, it looks pretty well clean back here, but now we can get a good clean as well on the back side here. You guys might be happy to know too, I upgraded from the Chemo tool set to some Milwaukee stuff. So this stuff I got for my birthday, and it is way faster. So we got some serious tools now. So let's get these two side panels off, that way we can make sure we get everything really clean. Ew, see, that's why we take these off, you guys. Look at that nasty, ugh. Just filthy people had this thing, I guess. Just disgusting. Well, definitely the driver's side, for sure. Just nasty, like, peanuts and whatever disgustingness is in there. Ew, that is gross. Luckily, it looks like it's just rinsing off, but definitely gonna give her some scrub with some degreaser. Gross. And there we have it. So we have a not so dirty, crusty center console. So as far as stuff to clean it with, some guys might laugh at this, some guys might already do this. But um, on some of the more, I guess, uh, not so important parts, I want to say, I usually spray them with, you know, tire shine because it makes everything really shiny and black and kind of returns a little bit of the oils back into the plastic. Another thing you can use, which I have here, vinyl, leather, rubber, uh, conditioner. So this is the mother stuff. So probably use some of the stuff on the top. Um, this is almost out. Otherwise, I honestly would have just used it on the whole thing. I actually used it over on our upper glove box and it came out amazing so um it works really good and i'll show you guys even a day or two later after what it looks like so i kind of spray it on i'll give it a wipe and you can see like that it makes it look like brand new so say what you will about it but it definitely gets the job done and gives really good results as you can see there same thing back here Kind of looking dull and boring and this stuff coats awesome it kind of gets into all the little crevices real nice I would have used it on the whole thing, but you can see how nice it leaves it, but I obviously ran out, so let's try some of this stuff, but I honestly don't think this stuff works nearly as good as the tire shine stuff. I use this stuff a lot on the S2000, and it kind of just dries up real fast, but anyways, looks better than it did for sure. All right, I think we can all agree this thing looks brand new so if you're wondering how i clean stuff up and i know a lot of guys are like oh where'd you get that thing it looks brand new it usually doesn't before i start cleaning it like you just saw there so now she's good as new i think now it's fit to be installed um i am still waiting for the front and rear brackets i had to order those separately uh, but those are on its way but at least for now i can fit it in the vehicle and get a general idea of where this thing is going to sit so that we can get the seats underway so um, let's at least throw it in there i'm just going to throw it in there loose um, because like I said, I'm going to start getting ready to make the brackets for the Hellcat seats to fit in there. So, um, let's toss it in. All right, you guys. So as far as other stuff, cause I know a bunch of people are going to have questions. I don't know exactly how far back it's supposed to go. If I had to guess, it probably supposed to come a little bit further back, probably somewhere right around there. Um, as far as the pieces that tie in, 
I have the, I need a different uh, surround here. So I have the different one coming that goes here that ties into here. Um, the brackets are on its way and then the side pieces, like I said, these plastic pieces, um, they're sending them. And then this one, they're also sending. So that stuff's all on its way. But at least now I have an idea of where the center console is gonna sit so I can get the seat in there. All right, and as for upper glove box and our gauge cluster surround, let me show you guys. So we're gonna go back in time for just a second. This is the gauge surround, but it didn't look like this. I'll put a picture up on the screen of what this looked like. So I went ahead and bought a brown one off of eBay because uh, right now, I couldn't find any of these right now for a decent price in black. So I got a brown one, and then I used our infamous vinyl and fabric paint and painted it. I did pretty much the whole interior on the Dakota, and I was really happy with the results. And as you can see there, I even went through the trouble of taking off all the clips. So the white clips are over here. And I even painted the back just because my OCD couldn't uh, handle having brown on the back side of this and black on the front. So I even painted the back so you would never know the difference, but just uh, kind of sharing that with you guys in case you guys are doing something like this and you can only find certain colors or you can find good deals on certain colors of things, um, you can change the color. So this is like a day later, it's all dry now, cured. So technically I could pop that in. And as for this, we are gonna be doing the upper glove box mod. Again, this did not look like this, so I'll cut to that footage. So this thing was disgusting when I got it. I'll also put up the deal that I got on this on eBay. I took a gamble. Uh, me and my buddy Shane <laughs> were wondering what was gonna show up given the price I paid. I paid $70, you guys. So that is a crazy deal for this. And it came with the cubby. I didn't know if just the door was gonna show up or something because they didn't have a picture of it, but rolled the dice and it ended up showing up this with the actual glove box and you'll notice this like port in the back so if you guys are trying to do different stuff like this this was actually from a 2010 laramie which is identical the dash configuration is the same even though electronics on the 09 to 12 trucks are completely different but you'll notice this kind of hole in the back here i might end up or if somebody wants to trade with me or something uh hit me up i guess but you'll see that port in the back it had one of these older school like 09 to 12 uh ipod connection things so i popped it out because obviously i'm not going to use it and it doesn't even uh, work with the electronics on the uh, 13 plus stuff but this is a factory ipod connector for the 09 to 12 truck so if you happen to have one of those and you want it for some reason and you want to trade me uh you know this glove compartment so that you can have the factory ipod stuff i don't know let me know but otherwise i'm just gonna throw it in with that little hole in the back and i'll figure something out i'm not too worried about it but yeah so we have this the only thing i'm waiting on is a little latch i had to order this latch separate so it was like 12 dollars for this and once we get into the different mods you guys um i'll end up pretty much uh you know showing you guys and giving you guys a full parts breakdown and part numbers and all that stuff so upper glove box mod coming center console uh, mod coming i guess i can pop this in today for you guys and show you guys this uh, might as well let's go ahead and throw it in so here is this piece if you guys are wondering why i went and bought a brown piece the one from the plastic dash which was this one was actually a different piece i didn't know this but you'll notice how this has a way bigger portion right there as far as the trim piece so that's why i needed to go ahead and get this one so let me go ahead and throw this in so it just clips in with speed clips and then on top, it's just got the four screws, so let me get it in there. So there we have it, guys. That piece is all in and installed. Uh, <laughs> I may need to armor all my dash a little bit. I haven't even cleaned this dash since putting it together, so um, unless I actually told somebody, I don't think anybody would ever be the wiser. I guess everybody now, everybody that follows my channel now knows that it's painted, but um, yeah, came out good. I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I haven't cleaned the dash at all, but um, yeah, everything matches nicely. So I'll throw in my two screws, but that's about it. So this probably does need to come forward quite a bit, you guys, because I know the bracket is pretty much like a U-shaped bracket that lines up with these holes, um, and it bolts up to there. So that's probably got to come forward. I got to take out all that old console stuff um, so we can bring it forward and into place. But uh, 
I don't know how long it's gonna take them to ship me this was the unfortunate part so I have a feeling it's gonna be like another week or two before they get this because I ordered this thing uh, just about two weeks ago now and it finally showed up so it is what it is and I got a phone call so that's what's going on right now you guys I just want to update you guys a little bit um, as far as some other stuff Probably going to be trying to get some door panels for this pretty soon. We still have the Dakota door panel, so I'm actually supposed to go locally. I found a set of Challenger door panels, um, which I think might be a little bit longer because I think the Charger ones are a little bit too short. I have one Charger one up on the shelf there, so uh, I'll double check before I do it. But what I want to do is sacrifice Dakota door panels and then put the card from the Charger Challenger door panel in the center. Um, here's the seats. So I'm going to be putting these and installing these pretty soon. Uh, into that so these will be going into our Ram 1500 project and we'll get these Hellcat seats in there and I think it should tie all the interior together really really nice having these in there the black center console the leather stitch dash and nicely enough the leather stitch dash should match our seats so it's gonna really look good you guys I'm excited all right guys so that's it for this video uh, ask any questions down below like I said I just wanted to uh, show you guys kind of what goes on behind the scenes so that uh, all these videos can be possible it's a lot of stuff that needs to happen and today just happened to be one of those days when parts were showing up I'm cleaning some parts up one more thing I will tell you guys is I did order a 8.4 Uconnect that should have CarPlay. It should be here in the next few days. So I think I hinted at that as far as the USB port on the center console. So I will be tackling that as well for you guys. So lots of stuff to look forward to. Comment down below what you're most excited to see. And then once we've pretty much finished the interior on this, which should be within the next week or so, we'll be moving on to the engine itself. So thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos. We'll see you guys on the next one.